Hi, and welcome to the next video in this series. In this one, we will be rigging the character's foot. As usual, let's start by grabbing the bones we need and moving them to a separate bone layer. In this case, we only need the ball L and ball L temp bones. So let's move those to the layer where we have the rest of the leg rig. We can then disable the layers we don't need to see. Then let's rename ball L temp to MCH ball driver underscore L. Then let's duplicate it to create the FK control. Give it a different scale so it's easier to see and select. And then rename it to FK ball control underscore L. And then parent it to FK foot control L. Already went ahead and prepared a custom shape that I will assign to this bone now. And that concludes the FK ball setup. We will be working on the IK foot setup next. So duplicate the ball driver again and give it a different scale. Rename it to IK ball control underscore L. And for now just parent it under the IK foot control. And just like for the FK control, I went ahead and made a custom shape for this bone as well. Next, we can set up the IKFK switch for these two bones. First, constrain the ball driver to the IK ball control using a copy transforms constraint. And then do the same thing with the FK control as a target. And then we can select the foot driver control and copy the driver that we have on its copy transforms constraint and then paste it on the second constraint of the ball driver L bone. Then let's duplicate the ball L bone to create a buffer. Give it the buff prefix and parent it to the ball driver bone. And then using a copy transforms constraint, constrain ball L to its buffer. And now we can animate the toes in IK mode as well as FK. For the inverse foot, we need to change the IK leg target to be a separate bone from the IK foot control. So let's duplicate the IK foot control and rename this duplicate to MCH IK foot driver underscore L. And let's remove the custom shape from this bone. Then let's copy its name, select the foot driver L, and then paste this name in the first constraints bone target field. Then select MCH IK calf, and again, paste this bone as the constraints target. Next, we will add the rest of the bones for the inverse kinematic setup. Let's start by duplicating the IK ball control and renaming it to MCH IK foot ball roll underscore L. This bone doesn't need a custom shape, so let's remove it. Then let's add a new bone at the world center. Drag it a bit up so it's easier to select and see. To make the placement easier, let's switch to the bottom view by pressing Ctrl and 7. And by pressing 5, you can toggle between orthographic and perspective. Then align this bone perfectly with the character's heel. Then duplicate it and place the duplicate at the toe location. Then duplicate it again and place it at the outside edge of the foot. And another duplicate at the inside edge. Then switch to the side view and adjust if needed. Next, let's rename all of these bones. This one will be MCH IK foot heel roll, then MCH IK toe roll, MCH IK foot tilt in, and MCH IK foot tilt out. Next, we can select and duplicate the toe roll bone. Move it slightly up and rename it to IK inverse foot control underscore L. As usual with the controls, let's give it a custom shape. Now let's select all of these new bones again and make sure that the inverse foot control is selected last. And while in edit mode, press Shift N and align their orientations with the active bone. Next, we can do all of the parenting. Parent the IK foot driver to IK foot ball roll. Then parent ball roll and ball control to the toe roll. Then parent toe roll to heel roll. Heel roll to tilt in. And tilt in to tilt out. 
and then tilt out to the foot control. Let's parent the inverse foot control to the foot control as well. The inverse foot is already working and as the next step we can make it controllable using only one control. Before we move on, let's enable an add-on that will enable us to copy constraints between bones. So go to your add-ons and enable the copy attributes menu add-on. Let's start by constraining the tilt in bone to the inverse foot control using a transformation constraint. Then go to the constraint settings, change the target and owner spaces to local space, and then for both fields change the mapping to rotation. For the source change the Z max to 90, and then do the same for the target. And tilt in is done. And now using the add-on, let's copy this constraint to the tilt out bone. So Ctrl C and then copy bone constraints. Then open the constraint settings and change the source Z min to minus 90 and max to zero. And do the same for the target. And tilt out is done as well. Next, let's copy this constraint to the heel roll bone. For this one, make sure that the Z min and max is reset to zero and then set the X min to minus 90 for both the source and the target. And that concludes the heel roll setup. The toe and the ball roll will be controlled using one rotation channel. And to define at which angle the foot will stop bending and start rolling on the toes, we need a custom parameter. So add one on the inverse foot control and change its name to roll angle. For now, we can set the property value to 25. Then, let's copy this parameter as the new driver. Next, we can constrain the ball roll to the inverse foot control using a transformation constraint. Change the spaces to local again, mapping to rotation and the X max value to 90. Then the target mapping to rotation as well. Change the Z source axis to X and the max Z value to minus 90. Then let's give this bone a limit rotation constraint. Change the space to local space, enable Z and for the min value paste the driver we copied earlier. Then edit the driver, change the type to scripted expression and in the expression field type in minus radians and in parentheses roll angle. And now when we rotate the control the foot will bend only to the angle which we specified with the custom parameter. Next, let's constrain the toe roll bone to the inverse foot control using a transformation constraint. Spaces to local, target mapping to rotation and max x value to 90. Then source to rotation as well and paste the driver to x min value. And then edit the driver and make sure it looks like this. Script the expression and the expression is radiance roll angle. Then paste the driver in the x max field, edit it again. This time, make sure the expression says radians and in parentheses roll angle plus 90. And that results in this rolling behavior. And here we have a bug with the roll angle parameter. The max value is set to 1. So let's edit it again and change that. Go back to parameter, press edit and change max to 90. And then we can check if everything is working as intended. And with that, this character's left leg is fully rigged. And lastly, if you learned anything from these videos and would like to see me make more, consider subscribing and maybe supporting me on one of the platforms listed here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.